We all have incredible potential within us. But how do we unlock it? How do we tap into our inner wisdom and strength to become our best selves? The path to realizing your true potential is a journey of self-discovery, growth, and transformation. It requires dedication, courage, and faith in yourself. But with the right mindset and practices, you can reveal the greatness that lies dormant inside you. Think of your potential like a seed. A tiny acorn has the potential to become a mighty oak tree. But that potential remains hidden until the seed is planted in fertile soil, nourished with water and sunlight, and given time to grow. In the same way, your innate potential needs the right conditions to flourish and manifest. Nichiren Daishonin taught that we all possess an enlightened nature, which he called our Buddha nature. This innate wisdom and compassion is like a brilliant jewel hidden within us. Nichiren wrote, the Buddha nature is always present within us. It is simply a matter of believing in it and nurturing it. By nurturing our Buddha nature through spiritual practice, we can bring forth our highest potential. So how do we begin to nurture our potential in Buddha nature? It starts with believing in yourself. You must have faith that greatness lies within you, even if you can't see it yet. The Lotus Sutra, one of Buddhism's most revered texts, states, All living beings have the Buddha nature. This means that you too have the seed of enlightenment inside you. Trust in your inherent worth and capabilities. Once you believe in your potential, the next step is to set a clear intention to develop it. Ask yourself, what are my deepest values and aspirations? What kind of person do I want to become? What unique gifts do I have to offer the world? Clarifying your vision and purpose will help guide your growth. Nichiren emphasized the importance of having a seeking spirit on the spiritual path. He wrote, seek enlightenment with the intensity of a person in the midst of a fire seeking water. Approach your journey of self-development with that same intensity and dedication. Be hungry to learn, grow, and evolve. An essential part of realizing your potential is expanding your knowledge and skills. Read widely, take classes, seek out mentors, and expose yourself to new ideas and experiences. The more you learn, the more you'll discover what you're capable of. As the Buddha said, your work is to discover your world and then with all your heart give yourself to it. At the same time, don't get caught up in endless seeking and comparison to others. Your path is unique, trust your inner wisdom to guide you. Nichiren taught that the answers we seek are already inside us. He wrote, when you chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, you will naturally be led to the correct path. Meditation, prayer, or chanting can help you tap into your innate wisdom and intuition. As you walk the path of self-discovery, you'll inevitably face obstacles and setbacks. Don't let these discourage you. View challenges as opportunities for growth. The Buddha taught that suffering and difficulties are an inevitable part of life. But he also taught that we have the power to transform suffering into wisdom and compassion. Nichiren encouraged his followers to have courage in the face of hardship. He wrote, employ the strategy of the Lotus Sutra before any other. This means facing difficulties with wisdom, compassion, and unwavering faith in your Buddha nature. When you hit a roadblock, take a breath, reconnect with your deepest intentions, and keep moving forward with hope. Developing patience and perseverance is crucial for realizing your potential. Growth takes time, just as a tree doesn't sprout overnight, your transformation will unfold gradually. Trust the process and stay committed to your path, even when progress feels slow. As Nichiren said, winter always turns to spring. Another key to unlocking your potential is surrounding yourself with positive influences. The people and environments we spend time with shape us profoundly. Seek out friends, mentors, and communities that inspire and support your growth. The Buddha emphasized the importance of good friends on the spiritual path. He said, admirable friendship, admirable companionship, admirable camaraderie is actually the whole of the holy life. While support from others is valuable, ultimately the journey to your true potential is an inner one. You must take responsibility for your own growth and happiness. Nichiren wrote, become the master of your mind rather than let your mind master you. This means cultivating self-awareness and emotional intelligence. Notice your thoughts, feelings, and habits. Question limiting beliefs that hold you back. Choose empowering perspectives that help you flourish. Mindfulness is a powerful tool for developing self-mastery. 
By observing your mind without judgment, you can gain insight into your patterns and learn to respond skillfully to life's challenges. The Buddha taught mindfulness as a path to liberation from suffering. He said, the mind is everything. What you think you become. By cultivating a positive, growth-oriented mindset, you lay the foundation for realizing your potential. As you develop greater self-awareness, you may discover aspects of yourself that you'd like to change. Embrace this as an opportunity for growth. We all have habits and tendencies that don't serve as well. The key is to approach self-improvement with compassion rather than harsh self-criticism. As the Buddha taught, you yourself, as much as anybody in the entire universe, deserve your love and affection. Nichiren emphasized the transformative power of our thoughts and actions. He wrote, the heart is the king of the body and determines whether one follows good or evil. By consciously choosing positive thoughts and behaviors, we can reshape our character over time. Make a commitment to embody your highest values in your daily life. Small, consistent actions add up to big changes. One of the most powerful ways to grow is by pushing beyond your comfort zone. Try new things. Take on challenges that stretch you. When we stay in our familiar routines, our growth becomes stagnant. But when we embrace the unknown, we discover capacities we didn't know we had. As Nichiren said, hardship makes us stronger. Each time you overcome a fear or limitation, your confidence and capabilities expand. At the same time, be patient and gentle with yourself as you stretch your boundaries. Growth isn't always linear or comfortable. There will be times when you stumble or fall short of your goals. That's okay. What matters is that you keep picking yourself up and moving forward. As the Buddha wisely noted, there is no path to happiness. Happiness is the path. Enjoy the journey of becoming your best self, rather than fixating on a destination. Another crucial aspect of realizing your potential is cultivating compassion and connection with others. We don't exist in isolation. Our growth and happiness are intimately linked with the well-being of those around us. The Lotus Sutra teaches that all beings are interconnected, like drops of water in a vast ocean. As you develop your gifts and talents, consider how you can use them to benefit others and create positive change in the world. Nichiren emphasized the importance of compassionate action. He wrote, if you light a lantern for another, it will also brighten your own way. By serving others, we often discover our own strength and purpose. Look for ways to share your unique gifts with your community. Volunteer, mentor others, or use your skills to support causes you believe in. This not only makes a difference in the world but also accelerates your own growth and fulfillment. Remember that realizing your potential isn't just about achieving external success. It's about becoming whole and integrated as a person. This means developing all aspects of yourself, body, mind, and spirit. Take care of your physical health through good nutrition, exercise, and rest. Cultivate your intellect through learning and creative pursuits. Nourish your spirit through meditation time in nature, or whatever practices resonate with you. The Buddha taught the importance of following the middle way, avoiding extremes and finding balance in life. As you pursue your goals and aspirations, make sure to also enjoy the present moment. Appreciate the simple pleasures of daily life. Practice gratitude for what you have, even as you strive for more. This balanced approach will help you stay grounded and fulfilled on your journey. Ultimately, the path to your true potential is about becoming fully and authentically yourself. It's about peeling away the layers of conditioning and false beliefs to reveal your essential nature. The Lotus Sutra describes this as, opening the door of Buddha wisdom, within your own life. As you align with your deepest truth, you naturally shine more brightly in the world. Nichiren wrote, regard your life as precious, and dedicated to achieving your goals. You have been given the gift of life, with all its possibilities. Make the most of it. Embrace the adventure of becoming your best self. Trust in your Buddha nature and keep taking steps forward on your unique path. With patience, courage, and faith, you can manifest the greatness that lies within you. The journey to your true potential is lifelong. There is always room for growth and new discoveries. But each step you take brings you closer to embodying your highest self. As the Buddha said, therefore, be a lamp unto yourself. Be your own confidence, hold to the truth within yourself. The power to realize your potential has been inside you all along.
Now is the time to let your light shine.